good afternoon thank you good afternoon to all the visitors and all the participants of this digital meeting first of all i would like to uh, convey my regards and thanks uh, to dr pradeep kumar mitro a very famous uh, physician of the state of west bengal he has been the former director of medical education of the government of west bengal and we have from the georgian national university madam maka madam maka is the dean and director of Admi admissions of international students for georgian national university again a very famous university in the country of georgia europe i have also very distinguished uh, visitors and uh, panelists here um, i can see madam shonchita chatterjee is there and uh, then there are other uh, distinguished guests and my dear students it's a uh, really uh, a pleasure on part of saraswati online who have organized this digital meeting you know uh, the entire world is going through a very difficult time in fact in my uh, 60 years of lifetime i have not seen such a pandemic of this magnitude which has affected the entire world at a time but as you know the resilience of humanity or human being is too high it's a species which has survived for 75000 years and uh, has uh, been uh, you know the top of the line of species in the world today having said that uh, you know we come to the uh, task of today's seminar actually uh, here i would like to delve into little bit about saraswati online's background saraswati online has been formed in the year 2000 with the idea of bringing in educational resources available and accessible across the countries our understanding is that there are always some additional you know additional Uh, additional uh, facilities available with all the universities and uh, these universities uh, and there is a demand for this education in some other part of the country saraswati online has always tried to bridge this gap in our endeavor of doing this from 2004 we have been conducting medical education program at the undergraduate level and this has uh, so far enrolled more than 6400 students from various countries currently our recruitment crosses 26 countries and uh, we have been placing these students in many uh, countries as well right from china russia ukraine uh, bangladesh so these are the countries where we have been placing our students and this time we have tied up with uh, georgian national university a very famous university of georgia of europe eastern europe and we will be offering their md program which is equivalent to mbbs in india a five year study program with one year of internship at georgia conducted in english language and uh, for that i would uh, have two distinguished speakers to address all of you my dear students uh, one is madam maka who will speak on behalf of the university and she will be uh, also sharing with you her knowledge and experience of medical education at georgia and what georgia and georgia national university specific can offer you in terms of your quest of becoming a doctor you know while we are saying that the uh, doctors are very much needed in the world still today we have much shortage of doctors throughout the world and uh, our small endeavor to create doctors have helped uh, not only india but also other countries of south asia we are proud that another apart from 2500 plus doctors in india who are practicing as doctors we also have another 1500 doctors practicing in other countries of south asia and some of them are also in usa europe and australia so having said that i would uh, like uh, you know two of the distinguished speakers to speak first i will request madam maka to speak on behalf of what she, uh, georgia has to offer to our indian students or south asian students and what specifically georgia national university can offer to our students of western india after madam maka i will invite dr pradeep mitro to speak about uh, study of medicine and what you can expect and what you should commit to become a successful doctor so with that i to madam maka uh, to say what uh, she wants to share with our students today thank you 
Thank you, Dr. Parta, for such a nice uh, introduction. And thank you to Saraswati Online to, uh, for organizing this uh, webinar today. So first of all, I would like to talk on behalf of Georgia National University. So, um, and if you will have any questions about the university, about Georgia, about studying in Georgia, or anything else around it, please uh, feel free to uh, intervene and ask. So first of all, uh, Georgia National University cell is one of the biggest in the country and the most demanded one. So this year's intake uh, has, has proven that it is the most demanded university in the country and most popular uh, among the students. And there are a number of reasons for that. First of all, uh, the location of the university is uh, one of the best for the medical education because we are located in the village of hospitals. We have six multi-profile uh, hospitals around us within 200 meters. So uh, initially it was a location for the hospitals and then our university was uh, moved there. So uh, location wise is one of the best. We have links with the best hospitals in the country and not only in the country, we also have clinical rotations in uh, top hospitals of uh, United States, Canada, UK and Turkey, depending on the uh, student's request. Uh, and uh, our medical education is one of the best uh, in the country. We have the curriculum that is adjusted to the European curricula. We are accredited by the uh, National Accreditation Agency, which is the accreditor of WFME accreditation, which is one of the top accreditations of the medical universities around the world. We're recognized by the World Health Organization and you can find us on the, um, on the list of the medical schools of the world. So, uh, our one, so our lecturers are, are also our top assets because we try to, um, to um, have the best clinicians, the best practitioners, and uh, the best teachers and tutors um, around the, um, from the country, and not only. So we recruit not only from Georgia, we also have uh, European lecturers and doctors who teach at our university. So some of them teach remotely, if, if the subject persists, or some of them travel back and forth from Europe and from the United States. So we try to give the best to the students. Also, the technology-wise, we are trying to have the best and the most advanced technologies uh, that are coming on the market. So we just uh, applied to renew our 3D anatomy model, so which is one of the uh, which just entered the European market and not many universities have it also in Europe. I'm not even saying it in Georgia. And um, this is and most of our Indian students who are on the MD program can prove it. So you can you can uh, as a student and as a future students and as their parents, you can uh, ask us to share some of the contacts of the of our present students, so they can share their opinion about the university. So that would be no problem with that. We have one of the best campus in the in the country. So it opened in September, the newest campus, the newest, the third campus of the, of the university. And it consists of a uh, gym, a uh, football stadium, <coughs> which also can, can be turned into the cricket stadium, uh, adjusted to the needs of the students. Uh, <coughs> we have one of the biggest libraries in the country. Actually, some of other universities are trying to, are uh, asking us uh, from time to time to use some of our facilities of our, uh, of, uh, not of, only of the building, but also of the library. So uh, with the resources, we are uh, one of the top uh, ones in the country. Well, it need, it's needless to say that Georgia is one of the safest and uh, uh, among the green countries in the world, 
uh, considering the current situation. Uh, we have very few cases uh, of COVID-19, so um, just two or three per day, if it happens, or some, there are some days there are no cases at all. And lethality-wise, we are the uh, one of the um, one of the countries which had very few and very small lethality rate, rates as well. Uh, it's needless to say that Georgia is very modern, very European country, and uh, it is ranked by one of the safest countries uh, in in Europe. So it is it is really safe and. Uh, parents are particularly liking it when sending the students to Georgia. I'm sorry. And <coughs> the student life is amazing because uh, we try to accommodate students and make them feel uh, like home. So we always uh, try to celebrate the national holidays of our students, we, would it be from India or from anywhere else. We try to adjust and accommodate to their national holidays. So they are, they are pretty uh, safe and pretty uh, comfortable with us. Uh, also, we don't have at the moment, we don't have uh, the student accommodation, but it is on the way. So just behind the university main building, uh, we uh, bought uh, a plot and the, reconstruct the construction is already on, the, on its way. So by next year, we will also have the student accommodation, which will be separate for uh, girls and separate for boys. So we differentiate it and it's really important for us. Also, if the students want to um, continue their uh, education to somewhere else, like in Europe or, uh, or the, not, not the education, their practice to Europe or to the United States, we offer uh, USMLE exams and also PLAB exams if they want to practice in UK. So we, have, we offer the courses to prepare them to pass the exams. So that would be no problem as well. Okay, so uh, what else? Um, you probably already know that we have perfect uh, uh, relationships, Georgia and India. Uh, we are perfectly, uh, we have a really good relationship with each other. We have uh, Embassy of Georgia in New Delhi. We have Embassy of India here in Tbilisi. So uh, political wise, we are relationship and we have many Indian students coming every year from India and uh, well what else I can add so this is um, this is an open discussion I would I would want to so if you have any questions regarding the education here at SEO at Georgia National University or in Georgia so please feel free to ask uh, I think Dr. Parta, you need to help us here. Mr. Vinod has the question he wants to ask. Mr. Arpan Ghosh, senior correspondent from India Portal has joined. He might be able to ask a question. He's a very senior journalist. I mean, he will ask later. Okay, thank you. He has a question. Okay, yes, right. well, thank All you. Right. Uh, thank you, uh, Baridha, for the beautiful session. Actually, uh, I'm very much, I'm, I'm pleased to be a part of this session, but, uh, but I'm extremely sorry, but I have a meeting, so I have to go, and uh, definitely I'm coming soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Baridha, and thank you for this all, uh, thank you for this invitation, and thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you for coming. All right, if you have any questions, anyone about the university, maybe this is the best. I have a very small question, ma'am. Yes, sure. Uh, you talked about uh, the students are also uh, from your university. You know, you're uh, opening new avenues, not just for back in India, but also in the West. Yes. Say in the sense in, in the UK or in the United States. So uh, do, if Indian students go to your university, 
and from there they graduate, then do they have to take some extra exams to be able to practice in the UK or in the US? Yes, it is. Well, that, that are the exams that are also mandatory if they will graduate in uh, United Kingdom or in the United States. So that, that are USMLE exams, which are necessary for any student who wants to practice in United States or in UK. Okay. So this is um, the recognition of the diploma is, so because it's of the accreditation, the diploma is recognized both in Europe and in the uh, United States, but those exams are mandatory even for the US uh, citizens. Okay, all right. In order to be able to practice there. And we also made very flexible uh, admission process. Um, most of the, so uh, all the admission papers and letters are done electronically. So students will not have any problem or any issue or delays with that. So we are issuing the letters electronically and uh, the whole process, including the visa spans from around one to two months. So normally uh, the biggest part of the time is taken up by the visa process and visa application process, unfortunately. But we are trying very, to speed up that one too. Ma'am, I'm very curious to know. Uh, yes. You know, you do get a lot of students all over the world, from all over the world, uh, from, you know, India, oh, Mr. Bari, other, other can, we, can we take the questions later? Mr. Bari, can we take the questions? Let us finish the deliberations first, please. Yeah, yeah. We'll take the questions, all the questions we take. Now, uh, Madam, uh, if you are uh, okay with your initial presentation, then can I uh, switch to uh, Dr. Mitra? He is yes, there. please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Dr. Mitra, uh, thank you so much for joining us, sir. And uh, I'm sure the aspiring doctors would definitely like to hear from such a uh, you know, outstanding medical personality of our state. So Dr. Mitra, please, could you share with our children, our students, those who are the future doctors, that what they can expect from this profession and what commitment they should bring into this profession? No, Dr. thank you very much for allowing me to speak something on that. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, uh, and I welcome you all, all the delegates here uh, present today, and uh, particularly Pato Ganguly for, for allowing me to speak on these gatherings um, about the noble profession, about the medical profession. And a lot of students, aspirant, aspirant uh, students who want to pursue the MBBS or medical course. So they have um, the opportunity. Just now, I also heard uh, uh, the beautiful presentation um, uh, uh, about the Georgia, they are, uh, and they are offered. Uh, they have offered their uh, study courses to foreign graduates. So what I can say that um, that uh, medical profession is the up till it was noble profession is still noble profession. And in this, as you said, in this pandemic situation, everybody is <laughs> just uh, uh, just uh, looking on the, what the doctors are doing how they are, uh, you know, they are taking care of the COVID patients. Now in this pandemic situation also, this is a great need, not only doctors, of course, the total healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, staffs, and the paramedics, they are all working hard to cope up the situation. But uh, thinking about the doctors, this, this medical profession, uh, there are a lot of ways nowadays. Previously it was, but nowadays, um, I can say from my own experience and own life that um, I was the uh, doctor, practicing doctor. Then I became the teacher doctor, teaching professions. And you, I, I uh, taught undergraduate students and the postgraduate students for more than, uh, say, 38 years. More than 38 years. And within that, the later half of my uh, service, you know, I... I uh, become the administrator also, medical administrator. 
so i enjoyed all the post so my uh, uh, you know my uh, advice to the young uh, students who are aspirant for the medical professions because there are a lot of opportunity not only that after you graduate in the medical field you can go anywhere you can do post graduation you can be a, become a practitioner you can become a medical teacher you can become administrator you can join the who world organization going the uh, some post graduation in the community medicines so lots of different of um, our avenues will open up for the medical professions if you think that if you come to this noble profession and apart from this noble profession also i can say economically also it is very good up till now because you can uh, appreciable amount you can have the honor respect and also you can earn very few professions are there where you can have the both you can have or you can enjoy both the things so economically also it is uh, up till now very good and so uh, uh, saraswati online here uh, uh, has come up with the great opportunities for the students because they have the uh, very sound background and they have already they have sent uh, different medical uh, students to different universities of the world and they have uh, they are practicing in uh, different parts of the world and also they have come back to you uh, as far as india concerned there's come many students have come back to india and i know personally many students who have been through this course online has come back and they are doing very good uh, they are placed highly placed and they have done post graduations also and um, uh, patu can tell uh, details about that that saraswati online has got also the if they are uh, enlisted through this saraswati then they are been offered a, a very good guidance and also post graduation entrance guidance also uh, so that's why um, i think uh, the georgia is uh, if they we they are they tie up with this new university new means this not new but uh, if saraswati online is tied up with this, this university of the europe and then uh the students may have been benefited and also uh, they can guide uh, at their best so i think medical professions first uh, you will have to choose you have the choice you will have to enter the medical profession be it the uh, whatever the country doesn't matter it matters the how the course is going on how the subjects are being taught and this uh, i know this saraswati online also they i have the experience that they have the uh, you know facility of offering the different uh, students can teachers. you know the enquire and students can uh, you know they can ask for any subject who, where they feel that they are weak they are not being uh, properly trained they can ask for the uh, some special courses special classes by the Uh, uh, specialized uh, teachers all over the all around the world so uh, uh, the students uh, you have the great opportunity ahead so don't hesitate you just go ahead and uh, grasp the whatever you have been offered thank you thank you dr mitra thank you uh, thank you so much for letting the students yes Uh, everybody wants from the profession one is respect and one is money and this particular profession of doctor gets gives you both money and prestige both so this is definitely a, a career worth pursuing so my dear students please do whatever uh, is under your command to achieve a seat in one of the good medical colleges so that you can come out as a successful <coughs> doctor before we start taking up questions i have with us a uh, uh, few of our alumni students who have uh, graduated from our system and have done their post graduation or now accomplished doctors by themselves so i have with me here dr obijit karmakar dr obijit karmakar is currently uh, practicing as a anesthesiologist and uh, critical care uh, he is in charge of the uh, iccus of a very famous private hospital of calcutta so obijit uh, could you share with us because uh, pradeep da has said as a very senior teacher now you as a young doctor 
uh, what are you finding from your profession and what are the difficulties you face during your graduation period so please share in fair you know in a short please share with our uh, aspiring students okay first first of all good afternoon to all of you i am feel very honored to be here today and also with the privilege of welcoming you all it's uh, been so many years i still remember our first batch in 2005 dali university this college has given us an unforgettable impression that time i was very young and don't know the chinese language our teachers helped us a lot from classroom teaching practicals to internship and communication with patients i am very grateful to my teachers and professors that they helped us uh, has to support the better person during the college visit and certainly helped us score good grades for all our efforts after studied 5 years in dali university i cleared my mci examination in the first attempt and started job in hospital and then i cleared all india post graduate entrance examination and i did the post graduation in anesthesiology as well as internal medicine and currently i am associated with the peerless hospital a critical care unit and uh, right now my life i am feeling is very colorful and every day i am enjoying a lot in the end i would like to congratulate all pre graduate students uh, those who are going to be a doctor and uh, uh, i wish you all the best wishes and success for your future and thank you to saraswati online and thank you to our sir okay sir obhi ji thank you so much yes, and uh, before we uh, start taking questions obhi ji thank you very much and obhi ji is not, not only stopping here he is also uh, involved in setting up a hospital in a rural area at joining calcutta where he intends to you know give uh, healthcare uh, support and services to people of rural areas particularly the areas at joining sundarbans and uh, so that's a uh, very kind of him he also does lot of telemedicine during this covid period lot of patients i personally know uh, has benefited from his uh, you know tele counseling uh, medical counseling through telephone and uh, he's doing a great job we are all very proud of you and uh, like uh, our other students we are very proud of you now i have with us uh, dr pritam mitra pritam are you there is uh, pritam pritam are you there uh, sir wait a moment okay okay so we will uh... Uh, pritam is a, again another uh... alumni students of ours he is a surgeon he has completed his uh, masters degree in surgery and currently practicing in a government hospital uh, in the state of west bengal with a once you are ready please buzz we will allow you to speak in the meantime uh, we we have a distinguished uh, guest here mr arpan ghosh he is a very senior correspondent from the india portals and we also have mr barith mishra another senior correspondent from the uh, field of journalism okay pritam so we'll get back to you pritam yeah this is dr pritam mitra uh, yes hello are you getting ah uh, pritam you please speak yes. about yourself what you are currently doing and what were, how was your journey uh, from uh, being a high school graduate to become a uh, graduate doctor yeah you are doctor and a specialist and now you are okay can everyone can, can you listen sir yes yes we can yeah, all hear yes myself dr pritam mitra i am a alumni of the luzo medical college now is the south southwest medical college in china in 2004 batch i have myself by uh, cleared mci at uh, first term in 2009 and uh, no no sorry 2010 and i i did my uh, diploma in child health in the bhim vivekananda institute of science in kolkata and 2001 to 2011 to 2013 then i have my pursue my uh, master degree in general surgery in 2019 from kolkata national medical college now i am attached with the mr bangur hospital now <laughs> specially known covid hospital in uh, uh, in west bengal kolkata 
and also attached with the iris hospital and uh, dishan hospital currently and i uh, now i am uh, is a consultant surgeon with pediatrician both practicing both the pediatrician and consultant surgeon and uh, in my journey i i, I don't know in, i am if i am here in this now platform only for the sarasvati online uh, give me the right path in my uh, career thank you to especially thanks to mr ganguly and let uh, i have to say the mr bose he is not with us now but uh, we are all also miss him very much thank you thank you pritam thank you for your short speech mm -hmm. uh now i would uh, like to take up questions if any one of you have questions uh please you can unmute your uh, raise your hand i will ask the host to unmute you so that uh, you can be allowed to speak okay mr badi uh this is not my question it's mr arpan ghosh was left a question for you dr ganguly yeah. that uh, he says that how soon shall the bonding between saraswati online.com and the uh, um, you know the georgian national university will be stronger and how soon can india see that more and more students you are sending to uh... well um, mr bari i'm not quite clear about the question uh, but uh, whatever i have understood let me put it this way uh, that both georgian national university and charasodhi online.com uh, attaches lot of importance to our bilateral relationship this will not only uh, be a relationship between uh, georgia national university and saraswati online.com both of whom are accomplished organization in their country and in their field but it will also be a you know stepping stone and it will also contribute to the uh, georgian uh, indian indo georgian friendship and it will also definitely meaningfully contribute to the building this fraternity of doctors who has proved once again that they are in the leadership role of the society today the entire world is actually guided and monitored and supported by the doctors today the social leaders are the doctors so uh, you know having uh, said that uh, a chance to contribute in making future doctors in association with georgian national university we are really looking forward to that coming to when our students physically can go and uh, you know Uh, make the georgia national university campus more colorful with indian flavors uh, i have we have to wait uh, for some time by the time this covid uh, pandemic comes under better control and students can fly to georgia we will look forward i hope it will be sooner than later and right now we are looking forward very eagerly for the neat exams to be conducted and once that is done the uh, you know the doorway to uh, admissions will open and we will have brighter future very soon Thank you for this question. Thank you, Dr. Ganguly. Yes. I would pass on the answers to the journalist. This is exactly what he wanted oh. to know. Uh, sir, I want to ask a question, sir. Huh. Sir, uh, actually, the safety measures. Uh, because I spoke to some of the students uh, and parents and all, uh, they were little uh, skeptical and worried about their. okay we know the uh, old uh, associate of ours he is a independent education counselor he works from bangalore and uh, you know uh, speaks to uh, many uh, students across the country and also in south asia so we know the uh, about the safety in georgia i would request madam marker to speak uh, about safety uh, you know physical safety and safety from covid madam marker could you please answer this question <laughs> Well, first of all, as I already mentioned, uh, we are we have very few cases in regards to COVID-19. So, starting from very early, our governments took a very strong measures to prevent it. So, almost immediately, uh, the border control was at the highest level. The uh, COVID testing is still ongoing, and. Um, even now the internal tourism to to uh, to prevent the spread of the disease inside the country they are closing the regions so one by one if there is any um, a number of cases in one region they may close the region for two weeks to make a quarantine 
So we are, the, our government is doing a really good precautions to prevent it. And this is why we have a very, very few cases, just two or three per day, or there are some days there are no cases, no new cases at all. And the mortality rate is very, uh, very small. So in that, in that uh, we are very, very much safe. So what, what is happening with the Indian students coming back to Georgia? So first of all, there are no, not yet the commercial flights. So we, the Georgian government is organizing the uh, charter flights from India to Georgia. So to bring all the, Georgia, all the Indian students to Georgia, which is around 20,000 people. And um, they will be going through two weeks quarantine and they will do the PCR testing once they are here in Georgia. To, again, to prevent for their own safety and to prevent any uh, new cases entering the country. So uh, that is also uh, one of the safety measures from the Georgian government. So that is what, what is uh, about the COVID-19. Otherwise, to, uh, as a safety, uh, you can check it on the actual, uh, the, world, uh, uh, the World Safety Barometer or World um, Trade Organization. We are one of the safest countries uh, in the world. So it is ranked number three by, first of all, by doing the business, it is the easiest country ranked number three around the world. And it is one of the safest in top 20, top 20 uh, in the world. So, and uh, we have a conversation uh, with the uh, current students later, and you will see that they feel pretty safe. So, they have they don't have any issue um, in the country. Now we got. Uh, yeah, Madam Maka, I had a question for you. Yeah. I'm, uh, my daughter is planning to <laughs> pursue this MBBS program. Now, I have uh, I had a discussion with Sarasati online, and they have told that uh, you can ask this question. So, in your presentation, I have heard that you are uh, constructing a, a hostel, uh, which will be coming up next year. Yes. So, suppose I am sending my daughter this year. I am planning for this year. So what are the staying arrangements you are planning for the students now? Well, there are student uh, residences uh, within the walking distance or within the short distance from the university. They are not owned or not managed by our university. So students and the agencies who send the students, in this case, the Saraswati, uh, will be the one who will organize it for you, for your students. So they will, they will um, take a charge for that. And then what is the safety measures? This because the COVID is around and uh, how can I be assured that yes, safety measures are there in this. Madam, can I answer this? Madam, I can yeah. answer this. Sure. Uh, so it is a very genuine concern of yours, uh, but let me uh, put it this way that all necessary measures for safety, be it physical safety, uh, be it safety from COVID, all necessary measures as may be directed by Georgian uh, government or who, or government of India in whatever case they may be, will be definitely followed and ensured. We have the experience and wherewithal of managing students' day-to-day -day life in numbers in one of my university, in any of, of our university, 400 to 500 students are staying at any point of time over five batches. We have coordinators on ground. We have people to manage on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether it is a loss of passport or it is a small uh, catching cold or whatever it is, medical attention or any other attention that is required for safe staying and safe studying will be definitely ensured without any hesitation, without any doubt. This will be responsibility of sarasothionline.com, so you don't need to worry about that. So next year, as the hostel facility will come up, so you are then uh, your uh, students will automatically... They, they will be able to shift to the new hostel. They may have a choice of uh, retaining in the old hostel or going to the new hostel. 
that will, these are very dynamic uh, situations, absolutely no problem. And we can handle that. But one thing I can assure you is that we will take your daughter or son and we'll give you back after five years after completing their medical education. And also, oh, this is five years. We will be with them throughout. So don't worry, sir. Absolutely don't worry. That is our responsibility. No, I, I had I had a little belief that uh, in the job. Did we uh, to you and uh, to across all students attending this program? Two things we can't do for you. One is we can't pay on your behalf. You have to pay for your child's education. Two, I cannot study on behalf of your daughter. She has to study. You have to pay and she has to study. Rest all is our responsibility and Georgia National University's responsibility. We assure you, you will get a very good satisfying experience of your child studying in Georgia National University uh, in collaboration with SarasotiOnline.com. We have adequate backup measures not only physical safety, but also education everywhere. We conduct parallel classes in all subjects. So students can, you know, if sometimes they miss or they are weak in any subject, they can, as Dr. Mitra was telling, we have classes called on-demand classes. If a student wants a particular class on a subject, best experts will take that classes online, of course. So all these measures are already in place, sir. It is not that we are going to do it. It's all there. So, uh, don't worry at all. We take full responsibility of our child's safety and education. Thanks. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, whatever it is. Uh, by any chance, I can see uh, Mr. Shushan Das here, principal of Jyotirmoy Public School. Uh, Mr. Das, are you there? Mr. Shushan Das? Yes, sir. Anyone I'm... else? Uh, Shushan, if you're there. Yes, sir. Uh, Shushan, Mr. Shushan is the principal of Chodima Public School. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, and uh, high school uh, uh, athlete to central board, uh, board of secondary education in India. I would like to uh, address to our students and all, also do you, uh, do you have any questions for my account or for anyone on behalf of your students? Yeah, there are. For medical staff. Huh. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity and thanks to Madam Maka and Dr. Pradeep Mitra for addressing the gathering. On this virtual platform, it's really wonderful that uh, such opportunities are being arranged in this pandemic situation for students to explore their possibilities to study abroad with such a noble of the profession among all. Uh, uh, yes, I do have a question on behalf of my students. Since my students uh, belong to a particular board, which is called Central Board of Secondary Education, India. Uh, they appear for their class 12 board exams through a curriculum. Now, in entering into the medical field or your university for the degree courses, what kind of opportunities can you offer? If you can share the details through a kind of a leaflet, a, a, you know, a brochure, we can share the same with students and those who are really interested to pursue some of your degree programs can then contact your uh, institute. So my request will be on behalf of my students to share the details of the courses so that we can pass it on to our students to explore. Thank you. Yes, so no you, problem. Uh, we'll do that. And if you have a, a large number of students interested in pursuing medicine abroad uh, or in Georgia, then we can organize a separate seminar only for your students also. That yes. is also is feasible. Sure, sir. Sure. So we look forward to remaining in touch with you. Yeah. And uh, definitely your uh, suggestion is a good suggestion. Mr. Ashok, please take note of that and please arrange to send some brochures to him. Sure. Get up, get percolated among his students. Sure. Uh, uh, the, anybody else? We have a lot of uh, education counselors here. We have a lot of students here, teachers here. I can see some of them I know personally. So anybody having any questions? Otherwise, we will have a quick roundup. Uh, and then uh, maybe close the. We have uh, Priya from uh, China. We have Himanshu Ji from uh, Lucknow. And we have Manoj Ji from Kerala. Many people are there. So, anybody uh, having any questions, please feel free. We can take up the questions since uh, Madam Maka is here. Uh, it will be easy for Saroj Ji. Do you have any question, Mr. Saroj? Let me introduce you to uh, uh, Madam Maka. Madam Maka, Mr. Saroj Mahanti is a very renowned an accomplished education counselor in the state of Orissa. Mm -hmm. In the eastern India, the state yes. of Orissa, the capital is Bhuvaneswar. From Orissa, 
this we have uh, we have 19000 students appearing for need this year 19000 so he uh, the, uh, he is representing uh, georgian national university in orissa in the state of orissa saroji if you have any question please uh, you can ask madam maka uh, good afternoon everybody good afternoon brother uh, i have got a question to madam maka uh, see, actually, during your speech, you said you are preparing your students for clinical rotation in the U.S. Yes. and U.K. also. So I need a clarification on that point. How, what is the uh, difference? Like, suppose somebody is going for the clinical rotation in the U.S. So how the system uh, and are you preparing them for U.S. MLE for PG programs? So I need a clarification on that point. And what is yes, the price that I will be charging to the students for that? We are preparing the USM. We are offering the USM mm. course to the uh, students who are already in their final years. So, and we are also, uh, by the way, we also offer them the MCI preparation course as well. Uh, but regarding the USMLE and traveling to the uh, rotations uh, to the US clinics, uh, there, is a, there is a charge in place for the clinical rotations in U.S. or in Canada, but for the best students as a, as a uh, present from the uh, university, university is offering the grant to the uh, highest ranking students with the highest GPI, and uh, we are uh, either sharing the cost or funding it completely. Generally, it is normally it is short rotation from two weeks to eight weeks. Okay, USMLE or PLAB, whatever the preparation coaching is by university uh, that is as for the students requirement or what? It is external external uh, trainers who come to the university uh, and train the students if they want to. So this is on behalf of uh, Jajan Medical University only? Yes. Okay, okay thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, this is Himanshu Singh. Hello. Yeah, I just want to ask one question. I mean, whether any kind of scholarships is available for the students during the academic part? Uh, not for the studies. Uh, the scholarships are available for the clinical rotations for the best students who are the highest ranking students uh, on the medical course. For the clinical rotations, for example, they may choose the uh, specialty they want to. Uh, we are doing it, uh, so th this year is, was planned, so because of COVID-19, it, it just collapsed, but uh, two students were going to the, one of the top hospitals uh, in, um, in, in Istanbul, in Turkey, which is, JCI accredited hospital group. So it is Memorial Hospital Groups. I don't know if you are familiar with that. Uh, and it is one of the highest standards um, in Europe. And uh, Georgia National University was fully funding it. But because of this uh, pandemic, it is just postponed probably for either for the next year for this or for the winter season. The Northeast uh, MBBS from SWMU uh, 2005 batch uh, and she has completed her DNB obst obstetrics and gynae. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now uh, Dr. Nikita Pradhan if you're there I would request you to please share with our uh, participants uh, regarding your experiences and if you uh, have anything to say um, about your courses uh, and your you know about your uh, experience right now. Uh, Dr. Nikita Pradhan, are you there? Yeah, 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 I'm there. Can you all hear me? Yes, you're audible. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I'm Dr. Nikita. Uh, I'm an alumni of Saraswati Online. And yes, uh, I, I joined in 2005. Uh, I would really like to thank the entire department of Saraswati Online actually for giving us this opportunity so many years back then. And then I totally uh, am very, very thankful that because of that opportunity to today, I am being established myself and I'm working and living a life what I had always dreamt of. Uh, uh, actually, 
for me uh, uh, what i would like to advise all my juniors is that uh, for me uh, uh, to come to this profession was very very important so that's why uh, 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 the target was always there that i would definitely clear uh, my mbbs then clear the screening exam and after that that's not the end of it still have to complete my post graduation because only as an mbbs is not enough at this time and so that was always clear in my head so and then i that was that is the basic thing for which we all have to be very very clear uh, so just uh, uh, going into this program and then just coming out and then the life is not that easy so we have to be prepared and this is a very good opportunity which i would say that uh, if you really can't think of any other profession other than this then please go ahead with it and i would like to assure you that uh, our the entire team of saraswati online they are very very uh, helpful and they will take care of each and everything and even uh, regarding my visas everything was done and taken care by them so i had no issue at all uh, with this i would like to thank the saraswati online.com presently i have uh, yeah cleared my dnb and it's been now my fourth year as a junior consultant i'm practicing in satyasai hospital bangalore so uh, thank you all once again for giving me this opportunity thank you saraswati online thank you ganguly sir thank you all thank you dr nikita that was a uh, very kind of you to share your experiences with us uh, i would now like to um, invite dr uh, mr ashok kumar uh, mr ashok kumar is uh, our uh, is in our sales team and i'll request uh, sir to address the uh, participants and uh, talk about mbbs md in georgia so if you can please take over thank you anvesha yeah thank you madam maka for uh, Uh, coming and uh, addressing students it was very nice uh, visiting uh, your university during my visit to georgia and uh, university has really got uh, one of the best infrastructure in uh, in the town of tbilisi and uh, as madam maka told university is located uh, within the vicinity of so many hospitals so students get the uh, opportunity Uh, to understand the health system uh, of georgian georgia as a country also there uh, six seven hospitals i saw which were there uh, uh, in the walking distance from the university and university uh, is also located very centrally located bang uh, next to a metro station and metro is very cheap there in tbilisi very convenient for traveling to students and uh, just outside metro station this uh, university is there and university has uh, a very modern uh, furniture in the classroom the equipment the the building uh, it is uh, it was very uh, posh uh, looking uh, university so my experience was very good and i can assure you whoever is going those uh, aspiring students or the parents whoever is, is willing to travel to study uh, mbbs in tbilisi uh, georgia uh, this university is one of the best this is one of the most popular university among the local students a lot of georgian students are studying there this shows uh, the quality of uh, this university people are also extremely uh, good Uh, i i got the opportunity to meet everybody the rector the dean the professors uh, the teachers so it was a very very um, uh, wonderful meeting with those people sharing the knowledge about the mbbs studies and all so i strongly recommend students and that and uh, uh, i'm uh, recommending this to all aspiring students they can choose this georgian national university georgia uh, uh, as one parent also asked about the hostels and all the georgia has got enough indian restaurants i'm telling you within my hotel itself a walking distance to my hotel there were indian restaurants and food was also great quality and 
lot many Indian uh, restaurant chain is also available there. Being uh, a tourist town, you can easily get Indian food. So quality food is also, and that is also cheap also. It's not very expensive. So you can have uh, Indian uh, food at uh, economical price uh, in the in the part of city also. And city is spread at uh, very low pollution, very uh, serene and peaceful environment, and uh, very friendly to Indians. So whenever I went there, even the taxi or the hotel people or everybody, they were very cooperative. So my experience of two weeks in Georgia was wonderful, and uh, I recommend students they can choose this uh, Georgia National University for any particular question also. Uh, they can ask anything uh, because I have seen infrastructure everything. So you can ask any particular question also. I will answer. So I am on standby. If so there is any particular question regarding this university or Georgia or Tbilisi, I am available. Uh, I am willing to answer. Thank you, Anvisha. Thank you very much. Uh, um, I think uh, we had a very meaningful discussion. We have a lot of participation also. I can see a lot of students here. And uh, if there is no further question, uh, I think uh, we can close this meeting. Uh, it's one hour is already over. And uh, Madam Maka must be very tired by now, answering a lot of questions. And uh, also it's lunchtime for many of us here. So, uh, with permission from Madam Maka, Madam Maka, would you like to say something before we finally close? Madam Maka, would you like to say something before we finally close? Well, the only thing uh, I would like to add is to thank you everyone for your time and for your participation and for your interest in studying in Georgia. And I really hope that uh, I will be welcoming some of you or, uh, or children of some of you to Georgian National University soon. And I can assure you that we will take a very good care uh, together with the, um, uh, to the uh, Saraswati. So on, on the Georgian side, we, uh, we will be res responsible ones. So I can assure you that they will be taken care of very well. So you don't have to worry about it. So thank you very much once again to Saraswati Online for organizing this webinar. It was really nice to speaking with you today. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. And uh, I would not like to name anybody personally now. Uh, I sincerely thank everybody, uh, right from the uh, panelists who spoke, right from our principal, Ashokji, and also my uh, you know, alumni students, uh, colleagues, uh, education counselors, and all the students and guardians, those who have attended, thank you so much. Individually, uh, I personally thank each one of you. And please feel free to get in touch with us, with any of our counselors, with all the questions that you have anytime. And uh, together with Madam Maka and on behalf of Georgia National University and Saraswati Online, we welcome you to a very pleasant and satisfying experience of studying medicine at Georgia National University, Georgia. Thank you so much. That's been for today. So we'll officially close the meeting with once more thanking everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.